The most news in the morning, CNN's American Morning, weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. You have been quite upset since all this happened and even had crying sprees. Tell me why crying sprees? What part of this whole episode has upset you so? Well, after speaking with Dr. Laura, I was just so confused. I was hurt because I was just calling her to get some advice about what I can do about this situation and how to talk to my husband. So the thought of, I, like I said, I was just calling her to get some help, and I did not expect to hear the things that she said to me. I didn't want to turn this into a racial thing. I just wanted some advice on my relationship. And you thought even after all this went down and the way she reacted that you went back and questioned yourself and thought maybe you had done something wrong. I did. I did. And that's why it was very important for me to listen to the tape because I thought I had honestly said something wrong. Did I do something wrong? Did I say something wrong? And I, I just wanted to go back and hear the tapes just to make sure that what I said was okay. And, you know, it was, it was just huge. It was... There's no way to explain the feelings you get or how you can react when something like this happens. Ms. Hansen, have uh, you reached out to Dr. Laura or has she reached out to you? Have, have you two spoke since? No, I haven't spoken to Dr. Laura, but she did on Wednesday when she apologized. She wanted me to call in and she wanted to give me the advice she should have gave me the day that I called but I have not talked to Dr. Laura at and all. It sounds like you didn't take her up on that offer to call in. Would you like to talk to her? No, sir. I, I, at, this, at this point, there's nothing she could do for me. You know, I, I called for help, and there, she's, there's nothing she could say to me at this point. An apology, it sounds like, is not good enough at this point. No, it's not. I... If she would apologize, I think, she'd be, I think she apologized because she got caught, mm. to be honest with you. Um, the, the tape disappeared, and I had to try to find the tape, but I, she's only apologizing because she got caught. Well, let me put up now for our viewers, uh, if she hasn't talked to you directly or reached out, she at least gave us a statement. Um, and let me put it up for our viewers, and I'm quoting here, and this might be the first time you're hearing this, Ms. Hansen, but she says, quote, I'd like to tell uh, Jade, I'm sorry, that's the name you used when you called in, Jade, but I'd like to tell Jade, I'm sorry, she called right. me to ask for my advice and help. In giving my answer, I not only didn't help her, but I used words that offended her and others, and I'd like to say again, I'm sorry. Uh, how do those words ring to you this morning? It's more than just the N-word. I mean, in that whole conversation, she says, you sh I shouldn't marry outside my race. Dr. Laura acted as if I tried to set her up. And that's not what happened. I called for advice. I didn't try to set this woman up. You know, at the end of the tape, she's like, nice try, Jade. Like, what is that supposed to mean? So I, I don't think she's sincere in her apology. She hasn't apologized. She thinks it's okay to use the N-word. And um, well, it's not sincere. Well, to wrap up here, uh, last few things. Let's go to the issue you actually called about. How long have you been married, first of all? I have been married for three wonderful years. Three wonderful years. Now, what kind of things were you yes. trying to get across to Dr. Laura? Um, what kind of things does your husband do, the friends do, and does your husband even use this N-word around you? No, my husband never, he has never used the word. Uh, it, it was friends just in conversation where they would make comments about black people. I think just being out of curiosity. And, you know, mm. after a while of hearing that over and over and over again, you start to wonder, okay, is... You know, I, I started to question why it was the same comments kept coming up over and over and over again, and there were a lot of stereotypes. Well, in your opinion, is it ever okay, uh, no matter what context? Of course, Dr. Laura didn't directly call you the N-word, but she used it. Do you ever think it's okay in any context for Dr. Laura, it's, anybody else, to use it, no matter what context? It is never okay to use that word or any other derogatory word that... that a whole race, it's just a very hateful word. Dr. Laura, I have a problem with Dr. Laura because she's old enough to know better. She knows where that word came from. She knows why it was used. She knows the whole civil rights movement and how, you know, black Americans had to fight to get to where we're at today. When, again, we, I think for nobody... For her to use that word and continue. Yeah, yeah, I think nobody accuses her of being an unintelligent woman. So it, with her knowing and understanding it, why do you think 
uh, she decided to use it. Not once, not twice, but several times. Why do you think, if she's smart enough to know better, why would she do it? That's how she honestly feels. That's how she honestly feels. What, ma'am? Um, and she just got caught saying it. Do you think uh, she accused you several times of being sensitive and uh, black people in general even saying that black people could be too sensitive to this word? Do you think there's any truth to that? And, you know, that's the thing I've been fighting with. That's the thing because I don't think someone should tell you how what you're feeling is right or wrong. I just know that there are words out there. We know the meaning of those words and they should not be said. We always, it seems like we've had in several past months, uh, racial uh, situations to come up, and people always like to refer to them as some kind of a teachable moment. What do you think uh, for yourself personally, but also for all of us, and really the nation as a whole? I know you didn't ask for this role, but what can we all get out of this and learn from this incident? I think we all have to step up to the plate. I mean, it's a, con it's a conscious decision to say this word in other words that are derogatory and demeaning to people. We all have to take a responsibility ourselves not to say these words. Kind of like uh, on Dr., uh, not Dr. Laura, but Oprah Winfrey, how she's done the, um, the text and the, the calling and don't do that. I think we should sign, do the same as far as using this word in other words that hurt people. All right. Well, very last thing. Any chance you will forgive and would like to possibly meet up or talk to Dr. Laura again? Not anytime soon. It, it's still very hurtful. It, you know, I, I was a li I listened to her all the time, but it, it's still very hurtful. You know, and in some ways you could say I kind of maybe trusted her or at least trusted her advice. And it, it's very hurtful. Well, Ms. Hansen, again, Nita Hansen speaking out for so the first time. While this morning. It might be a while, but uh, certainly a, a lot of wounds in this country certainly need to be healed. Looks like yours might last a while as well. Ms. Hansen, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Congratulations on the three wonderful years, as you say, of marriage, and we'll certainly keep up with you and talk to you maybe down the road. Thanks for coming in.